Hello, Trinity Leeds. Oh, honey. Oh my God, <laughs> reunited again. It's never felt so good, <laughs> honey. You and me, us like this in front of no one. And yeah. Virtually in front of people. living room. Yeah. Thanks for moving in with me. Yeah, yeah, I'm the new horror. Yeah. <laughs> I needed a replacement. Yeah. Honey. But honey, I think while we're here, we should talk about, I mean, how good you look right now. You look like oh, sexy. Oh, stop it. Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> nice, uh, Listen, Buzz Lightyear's already sexy. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, honestly, when I woke up in the pig pen this morning, mm -hmm. I thought, oh, Today's the day I'm going to look beautiful. And I think something that so many people misconceive is when, when shopping for foundations and stuff, we always go for really like expensive brands and stuff. I still use really cheap foundations because mm -hmm. it's how you use products. That's that's the main thing that, that I true. have learned, you know, like, over... I do like a little a bougie product from time to time. <laughs> to you. But it's how you mix and match. You know, yeah. you have your high street, you have your designer. Yeah. You mix it together and magic is made. Well, you literally mix it together. You mix your... Um, what is it, your primer? together, yeah. my primers together, yeah. my powders together. Yeah. It's like the best of both it's worlds. It's like the best of all the worlds. It's yeah. like, you know, one's really good at this, one's really good at that, <laughs> one's really good at, in the middle. It's like, put them all together and it's the best at everything. There's some Hannah Montana stuff exactly. right there. I like to sing Hannah Montana every morning whilst I do my makeup. <laughs> well, you're mixing it all <laughs> on your hands. Best of both worlds. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. So, honey, tell me, your makeup's changed up a bit since I've seen you on the show. Well, yeah, I don't look like I'm about to cry every two seconds. <laughs> Because um, I love that even you're watching it back on TV, you look at it and you go, why do I look so sad? But then you realise it's mm -hmm. all about the angles. If you look at how we take pictures on social media, mm -hmm. it's all about the angles. It's about, oh, the lowness, oh, where, where's sucking the lights that. going? Uh, and yeah, sucking everything, sucking everything in, in, sucking it all perfect. out. You know, it's all about that. So why would your makeup and the shapes you put on your face not also translate as that as well. Exactly. So it's like me, no eyebrows today. What am I thinking? <laughs> am I happy? Am I sad? Well, actually, I'm Mona Lisa. Oh, actually, yes. I sneeze backstage, and that's why she's not got any eyebrows. <laughs> they just blew off. That's the payback when I got the blood on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm living. I'm living for these brows. They've changed. Uh, Mum, what do you use? What do you like to use? On I brows? use. Um, See, I'm I'm really weird. I use a uh, cream contour mm -hmm. in brown, yeah, just a kind of neutral brown uh, color. Bit of mud. And the, yeah, <laughs> bit of mud. Uh, uh, draw draw a wee arch. That's it. Um, and then I basically set that, do the rest of my face, and that's really easy because you can clean up using the rest yeah, of the foundation exactly. around uh -huh. the brows. And if drag is not a testament to being creative, I don't know what is. Right. Because so many people get it mixed up and they try, you know, get so many designer outfits, and that's fine. You've she's got one me, designer outfit me. here. She's reading me to filth. <laughs> You've got a designer outfit here and a, a rhinestone hot glued. Creative, yeah. look at this. You're ready for <laughs> well, top gear, but different types of creative, mm -hmm, aren't they? Mm -hmm, that that mm -hmm. is the thing. So I, I think drag is a kind of all-encompassing art form that allows you to be creative and exactly. still glamorous, gorgeous. You can look like a clown. And just make, makes you feel your absolute best. Like, even if I was to dress, if if I was to get in a like a nice trough of mud and just oh yeah, oh blood, you know me. I like, <laughs> like to pour a bit of fake blood on me from time to time. It might look a bit crazy, but when you've got it on and you feel your absolute yeah. best, no one can tell you anything. Well, so many people mix it up. It's actually about how you feel mm -hmm. and not about how everyone else perceives yeah. you. That's the whole thing about drag is. Drag is all about expressing yourself, and that's what people could learn more from. Really. Exactly, about... if it inspires other people to be a bit more confident, to get out of their selves, search the chasms for them. <laughs> Annie, I'm down. Yeah, I, I, listen, I love searching a chasm myself. Oh, I'm sure you do. But where do you learn to be so confident from? Because I, listen, we've known each other a while. Mm -hmm, we've mm -hmm, been mm -hmm. through a competition. We have. Together. Through the mill, girl, and, through and the mill. somehow we made it through the end. I know, look but at us now. Isn't confidence just such a journey? You know, being queer, doing drag, going through all these adversities in life, it just toughens up your skin, makes it nice and thick, hard, callous. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I know oh, about oh yeah, baby. Those oh, sexy. yeah. Oh, yeah, mama. <laughs> but yeah, we go through all of these struggles, and at the end of the day, it's all to come to this moment, and we feel like these badass people who can just run the world. <laughs> well... Goodbye, Trinity Leeds.